Welcome to Saving America. This is Dr. David D. Shine, your host. And uh, we have a special segment that we call Rumors of the Week. Sometimes we make it singular, sometimes we make it plural, depending on what cool stories we have that may not have made it to the top fold of the newspaper, as we used to say when people used to read newspapers. Um, this is a very bizarre report, and uh, I don't think it got a lot of coverage. A reporter named Robert Spencer uh, brought this up. Uh, in the headline is UC Berkeley students happily pledge money to help the Taliban kill Americans inside the US. This is an unthinkable situation, an unthinkable situation. And let me provide some more information. So if you're still skeptical about America's college students and how they've been perverted by the many leftists and commie professors that we have running around America, and let's be clear, a lot of this is on the East and West Coast. I'm not seeing this here in Houston, and I'm not seeing it in many other places in, in the uh, God-fearing parts of America. This was something that was done on the Berkeley campus. Berkeley has been famous for decades and decades as a hotbed of commie uh, crazies. And unfortunately, that is still true today. Uh, and uh, so what they did is, they had a, a, a fellow go out, his name is Ami Horowitz, and he does these interesting um, man on the street so-called interviews. And he went out and he's talking to students at the University of Berkeley. And he says, we're trying to raise money for the Taliban. And it's tax deductible. And uh, to another avidly listening young woman, he says, we want to strike the U.S. both abroad and in the homeland to teach them a lesson. Life means nothing to them, and America needs to be taught a lesson. This moron student replied, very true. Horowitz, the filmmaker, told the New York Post, every time I dream up an idea for a new video, I always have the same conversation with myself. I've gone too far. Is this insane? There's no way that people will accept the premise that I'm going to present them. I thought, how can I get to a, go to a major American university and ask people to give me money for the Taliban, specifically to kill Americans? What universe do I have to be in to find American kids willing to give me money to kill Americans? But that's exactly what we found. This is probably one of the only times where if someone punched me in the face, I'd be happy. Not a single person told me to go to hell or worse. I can't say it on our broadcast. The majority of people who stopped and talked to me just decided they'd give me money for this to fund the Taliban and specific use of proceeds to kill Americans and strike back at America and fund a new 9-11 on U.S. homeland. Commentary. Every day at UC Berkeley, these students' professors regale them with propaganda about America is evil and uh, an agent of imperialism, colonialism, etc. So uh, this is a really tragic situation, but again, I do not think it represents even a small minority, much less a majority of American college students. And that's based on my own teaching experience at multiple universities uh, on the East Coast and here in the Southwest. I do think that there are universities that do have this uh, anti-American situation going on. And I think as parents, as educators, as people concerned in the community, we need to do more to communicate the value and the importance of America and American freedoms. This is Dr. David Schein, Rumors of the Week for Saving America.